So we're going to cover how to install and find the LinkedIn Insights tag, which is a lot like the Facebook Pixel, Google tag, anything like that. So to start, it's really not that complicated. So to start, you're going to, if you have the new UI, because they changed it a little bit, you under analyze and you do conversion tracking. You click that and you won't have any of this set up if it's your first time, um, but if you go over here to manage insight tag in the top right, uh, you'll do C tag. Now you have the option of doing it yourself, sending it to a developer, or I will use tag manager. If you install it yourself, it uh, is actually really easy. Um, so the first time you do something like this, you're gonna feel like you're some kind of hacker, uh, but it's really not that complicated. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this and then you're going to go over to your website. So right now I'm using a WordPress website, um, but I've done this on probably 12, 13 different web, uh, website types like Wix, Squarespace. Um, they, they all kind of work very similar. And so what I've done to make it super easy is um, you can install a plugin, which if you go into plugins and you can search for plugins and you can install one, I installed a plugin called insert headers and footers. And so now I can just click on that and I can have my headers and footers and I can honestly just paste that code into the bottom of my footer. Um, like, so I'm going to take this back out because I already have the LinkedIn insights tag installed, but it would be as easy as that. You copy it, you find and copy it from your LinkedIn ad account. You paste it into your header or footer and hit save. Uh, so for almost, uh, any, for almost any website, you'll have some kind of option. It might say inject code or in, insert code into header footer. Um, some of the websites, if you put it in the, like Facebook, I think requires you put it in the, the header and some other websites or pixels um, require you to put it in the header. And the, the main difference is if you put a code in the header, then it's, it tries to load initially when someone goes to your website, which means it could slow down the page speed in which it loads. Putting it in the footer might not capture every single visitor, like if, if they were there for a second or two or less, because the full page with your pixel at the very bottom in the footer isn't fully loaded. But if your whole goal is to kind of capture website traffic of actually interested prospects, you know, not capturing those people who bounced in the first five seconds probably isn't such a terrible thing and it improves the loading um, speed of your website. So I would say for LinkedIn, I would recommend putting it in the footer.